Me grandfather's treasure chest! I just know that spyglass is inside. The spyglass. Quasi, what happened? I found the spyglass, but before I could grab it, I got slimed. Who goes there? We may not be able to see, but we can still smell you and hear you, Dag Nabbit. Uh oh. It looks like this is slime eel territory. Get off our property or I'll slime you again. Sorry, Quasi. We've got to go. Why? But what about the spyglass? Just leave it, Quasi. Two! No! It was my grandfather's and it should be mine! But Quasi. Three! Okay, boys. Let him have it! And then we ran in and Quasi was covered all over with this disgusting slime. Fascinating. A single slime eel can produce a bucket of slime in no time at all. Tell me about it. That's the slime eel's way of protecting itself and its home, especially since it can't see. There certainly were a lot of slime eels protecting that spyglass. Not to mention spiky sea urchins and tangly seaweed. Sorry, Quasi. It's probably too dangerous to go back. What would a slime eel want with a spyglass anyway? <sighs> I'm going to bed. Calico Jack. Spyglass. It's mine. 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 The spyglass is mine! <sighs> Quasi. This time, I'm not leaving without that spyglass. <gasps> um. Go ahead, Shellington. Captain, the volcano is getting hotter and the lava is rising. I'm afraid there's not much time before it erupts. Understood, Shellington. We need to get all the creatures out of here fast. Attention, everyone. This is Captain Barnacles of the Octonauts. You must all leave here right away. The volcano is about to erupt. Erupt? Can't go any faster. Oh no, that sea urchin can't move very fast. Don't worry, we'll help anyone who's having trouble getting away. Put on your deep sea suits. Quasi, you take care of the spiky creatures. This grabber could come in handy. Uh, aye. Peso, you take care of the slimy creatures with this net. Got it. And I'll take care of the creatures hidden in the rocks. Remember, Octonauts, leave no sea creature behind. Yow! Ready. Ahoy there, urchin. Let's get you to safety. Oh. Thanks. Aha! There's a slimy one. And it looks like it could use my help. Don't worry. I'm here to help you. Wow! This is cool! Help! We're all 
stuck to this rock like, well, clams stuck to a rock. Don't worry. If you clams can't get off this rock, then I'll get this rock off the volcano. Whoa! <laughs> Another slimy creature that might need our help. Excuse me, but... Shh! Uh, there's a volcano. Quiet. Mm. 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 Delicious. I'm a blobfish, and blobfish don't go after food. We wait for it to come to us. I've been watching and waiting for lunch for hours now, and I didn't want to miss it. Oh, I'm Peso, and... I'm Bob. Bob the Blobfish, but you could call me Bob. Bob, I usually wouldn't interrupt your lunch, but this volcano is going to erupt. Didn't you feel it rumbling? Oh, I did feel some rumbling, but I thought it was just my tummy. <laughs> I'm afraid I need to get you out right away for your own safety. Well, I can't leave without my brothers, Bob and Bob. We're the three blobs named Bob. <laughs> Bob lives way over that way. Hey there! And Bob, he lives way over this way. Hiya! We're the three bob -cateers. Bob for all and all for Bob. Peso, we need your help. Someone's hurt down here. Oh, no! Don't worry about Bob, Bob and me. OK. But please hurry. No problem. Oh, <laughs> I mean problem. <laughs> <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! What was that? Captain, Shellington, can you see this from our camera? Looks like some sort of undersea beach ball. Actually, it appears to be a comb jelly. You mean a jellyfish? No, comb jellies are similar. But, unlike jellyfish, they don't sting. Fortunately for Quasi. Quasi? Quasi? What are you? Beast or balloon? That's one giant jelly. Captain, not much is known about comb jellies. I'd love to see it in person. And I'd love to get a close-up. All right, hold on. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh no, he's hurt. Hmm, the jelly appears to have injured its comb. Comb? Yes, comb. It's made up of tiny tails that surround its body and help it swim. Hello there. Does this hurt? Hurt? Oh, sorry about that. Hurt, hurt! Don't worry, I have just the thing for that broken comb. This waterproof ointment should make you feel better right away. Food! No, no, not food. <laughs> hey, <laughs> stop it. <gasps> oh, that tickles. The jelly not only uses its comb to swim, Peso, but also to handle food. Its little tails are tickling you. <laughs> Luckily, you're too big to be eaten. There, feel better. Better, better. Huh? My medical bag. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Over here, Captain. Uh, Quasi, help! Yow! Peso, what are you doing inside that thing? Peso, inside! Inside Jelly's belly! Let him go, you bulbous beast! Wait! Don't hurt him! I'm all right. Mostly. Quasi, how did Peso get in there? Never mind that, Captain. How are we going to get him out? It may be a bit tricky. As you can see, the comb jelly is see-through. But he has several clear layers of skin surrounding a clear stomach full of water. And Peso? Go, go! No! No, go, go! Whoa! Peso, we're trying to work out how to get you free. Stop playing around. 
But I'm not. Jelly, please stop. Drop! Quasi, Dashy, get the cup, eh? Shellington, let's go after him. Whoa! I got it! I got it! Oh! Oh, he got it all right. Dashy, get me close. Closer. I've got you! I've got you! Jelly, <laughs> stop! That's my friend! Quasi cat! Catfish! No, not a catfish! He's a. Oh, never mind! Quasi, are you okay? Just give me whiskers a moment to stop shivering! I've got him, Captain! Oh no! They're being swept away by that current of fast water. This is getting serious. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Who, who are you? Boo! Ah! You scared me. I'm sorry, you asked who I am. Yes, I did. So, who are you? Boo! Uh, will you please stop doing that? Stop what? Scaring me. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm sorry. Well, okay. So, what's your name? Boo! Uh, boo! Uh, boo! Uh, boo! Uh, My name is Boo. I'm a spookfish. A what? A spookfish. Everyone thinks we're all spooky and stuff because we have these clear see-through heads and because we can do this with our eyes. <laughs> See? Wow. That is spooky, Boo. <laughs> Told ya! According to the Gup Finder, the Gup E stuck right around here, inside that trench. Cap, our Gup won't fit in there. She's right. Tweak, you wait here. We may need that tow line. Quasi and I are going in. Hey, wanna play a game? Now? Oh, why not? It's called I Spy With My Little Eye. One of us looks around and says the first letter of what we see, and the other one has to guess what it is. It is kind of dark down here, but OK. I spy with my little eye something beginning with P. Is it a penguin? No. Plankton? No. Uh, oh, I give up. What is it? A polar bear. Oh. OK, my turn. I spy with my little... A polar bear? That polar bear is Captain Barnacles and Quasi. They've come to rescue me. Peso, are you OK? Aye, Captain. I got stuck down here when the guppy's battery died, but I'm fine. And who's that wee little guppy with you? Oh, this is my new friend. Boo! Duh. Shiver me whiskers. What manner of wild ocean beastie is this? I'm not a beastie. My name is Boo. I'm a spookfish. We can see right up through our heads. Aye, aye. Tweak, we're going to need that tow line. You got it, Cap. Let's hook it to the gup and pull her out of here. <clears throat> OK, lift her up. Steady, Tweak. Careful. <gasps> Yow! Cap, look out! What happened down there? You guys all right? We're okay, Tweak. But rocks fell over the cup, and now we can't move it. Captain, what are we going to do? <sighs> if I were a sea monster, where would I hide? He's got eight heads, so he must be pretty clever. That looks like a good hiding place. <gasps> um. Ah! Ow! Aha! Huh? 
I'll check those rocks. <laughs> gotcha! Ow! Oh, how could a giant sea monster with eight heads just disappear into a wall of solid rock? Octonauts, over here! <gasps> Captain, what is it? Look! The golden jar that was on your map, Quasi. This will make a beautiful photo. Aye, matey, but don't get too close. Captain, the sea monster could be hiding behind that golden jar. Oh, no. Then I'll pull it out very carefully. Over a bit. Down a little. Gotcha. Yeah, no monster there. Stand back. I'll do a monster check. Yeah, a sea monster couldn't fit in there. Where is that sea monster? This map is no help, no help at all. Peso, we may have to face the worst. The worst? There's no sea monster here. Oh, phew. <gasps> Arr, this is supposed to be a sea monster map. <gasps> oh, wow. What's the point of having a sea monster map if there's no real sea monster to go with it? Quasi, behind you. Yeah! Ah! Found you, sea monster. You win. That was a fun game of hide and seek. Game? Wait. You're supposed to have eight heads. I think you found an octopus, Quasi. Yes, I'm an octopus, all right. Well, you sure acted like a sea monster. You disappeared like magic when I chased you. I'll show you my tricks. You'll want to take my picture before and after. Hey! Where'd you go? I can change my colors. That makes it easier to hide. What's this? <laughs> and I can squeeze myself into oh so small spaces. How'd you do that? It's easy when you don't have any bones. You really are the king of hide and seek. <laughs> Even if you're not a proper sea monster. Well, if you hadn't gone looking for a sea monster, you wouldn't have found me. How did you find me? Look, there you are. Oh, time for a new map. <laughs> you're right there, matey. There. What do you think? Perfect. Thanks. That's more like it. Hi. This is a real map of the place. Now it's my turn to hide. I'll come to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming. Ready or not? Now where be those eels? There they are. They really are good climbers. Let's find out what's on the other side of those rocks. Jumping jellyfish. The eels are getting out of the water and travelling on land. Let's investigate. Look at them wriggle right over the mud and dirt. That's fascinating. Eels can breathe air for a short time, so they can leave the water and go over land if they have to. Nothing stops them on their way up the river. Nothing. Uh, Help. Huh? Help. Did somebody say something? Help. Where are you? Down here. Hello there. Are you stuck? Yes, and I really need 
need to get out. Hmm. Can you grab onto this, matey? Yes, go on. Pull me up and please hurry. <sighs> did you fall into that hole, little eel? Yes, yes I did. If there's a hole in the ground, I'll be the one eel who falls into it. So, thanks very much for getting me out, but I really have to be on my way. Uh, oh, ow, ouch! Oh, my tail hurt. Uh, I can't move. Don't worry. Don't worry? My friends are getting farther and farther away, and now my tail's hurt. I can't even wiggle. I'll never catch up to my friends like this. We can help you. Really? Of course. We are the Octonauts. What seems to be the trouble? It's my tail. It hurts so much I can't move. <sighs> you need a bandage. That was fast. It feels better already. Thanks. You're welcome. And now I've really got to get going. You need to rest for a while. Oh, I can't rest. Must keep moving. Got to catch up to me friends. Captain, he's not strong enough to make a long swim up the river. I'm afraid he'll never make it to the lake on his own. We'll make sure he's not left behind. Oh, I may need a little help get him back in the water. We'll give you more than a little help. Aye, we'll take you all the way to the lake. Oh, thanks. It won't be easy, but we'll swim up the river just like the eels and make sure our friend gets to the lake safe and sound. Aye, aye, Ready, Captain. let's go. Oh, and one more thing. We'll need the smallest life belt we've got. Octonauts, let's do this. That water's too rough to swim over, and those rocks are too high. This will take some teamwork. Think you can get this to the top, Quasi? No problem, Captain. Got it! Grab a hold! Let's go. A cave. We're going through. We're really, really close now. All we have to do is swim through that. This looks like a good spot for the baby jelly. Here you go. No. <laughs> I think he likes it, matey. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. No, that's more like it. Dorian, is that you? Of course it's me, man. I've just been going through some changes, that's all. I've gone from a baby to a pilot. And it won't be long until I'm all grown up again. I hope Shellington gets here in time to see it happen. Not far. Now, let's boost our speed. I broke the booster packs. I'm sorry, Tunip. Shadow! Tunip? The Shadow Rover! The bar! Oh, good thinking, Tunip. To the Coral Reef, please. Next stop, the Coral Reef. And you better hold on tight! <laughs> what is it, Dorian? I'm feeling a little funny. You don't have a fever. Does anything hurt? Are you hungry? Or oh, sleepy? No, man. It's, it's like I need to sneeze or a hiccup or make a change. What is this it? <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! <laughs> Look at me. I'm all grown up. And Shellington missed it, Captain. Oh, no. 
that sailfish is coming right for me. Oh, amazing! I got to see him turn into a baby jelly right before my eyes. You got here just in time, Shellington. Super, super! Well, we hit a teeny bump here and there, but mostly it was smooth sailing. Right, Tunip? <laughs> Good morning, Octonauts. I'm sure you've noticed something strange happening outside. Professor Inkling, what's going on out there? It seems there was a jellyfish bloom overnight, Peso. Jellyfish bloom? When jellyfish find a place they like, where there's lots of food to eat and nothing around that eats them, lots of jellyfish will go to that place at the same time. It's called a bloom. Barnacles to Shellington. I think you'd better drive the Gup E back to the octopod. You'll be safer here. Well, I would drive back, but uh, I fell asleep with the lights on and now the Gup's batteries are nearly dead. See? Why don't you just swim home? Uh, that wouldn't be a very good idea, Quasi. These are sea nettle jellyfish. Their tentacles will sting you if you touch them. Stay where you are, Shellington. We're coming to get you. Quasi, peso, into the guppe. I've never seen anything like this. Quasi, activate windscreen wipers. Aye, Captain. Let's move slowly. We don't want to hurt any of these jellyfish. They're too thick to drive through. They're clogging the intakes, Captain. Right. We need to get back to the octopod and make a new plan. Activate helmets, everybody. Prepare to eject. We'll have to swim back to the octopod. Yeah. Watch out for the tentacles. Don't. Ouch! It's a jellyfish sting, all right. How does it feel? It stings. Don't worry, Captain. I know just the thing for it. Thanks, Tunip. I knew you'd have some in the kitchen. This is the best emergency treatment there is for a jellyfish sting. It smells like vinegar. It is vinegar. It should help with the stinging. Ow. How does your paw feel now? It feels better. Ugh, it smells worse. Thanks, Peso. Now, I've got to get back out there and rescue Shellington. Ah, oh, ow. Captain, you need to stay right here and rest until your paw is completely healed. Don't worry, Captain. We'll rescue Shellington. We? But we'll have to suit up first. Come on, Peso. Are you sure this is a good idea? Relax, Peso. Our deep sea suits will protect us from their stinks. We'll find Shellington, give him this extra suit, and then we'll all go home sting free. See? I didn't feel a thing. Yeah! Okay, Leo. Everything up here looks good. Now let's check your tentacles. Checking. Checking. Still checking. Just one teeny tiny tentacle to untangle. This won't hurt a bit. There, all better. Oh, you are the best doctor in the whole ocean, Peso. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> Your stingers seem to be working just fine. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I love to just hug, but it never seems to end well. It's all right, Leo. I'm wearing a sting-proof suit. Besides, you're a lion's mane jellyfish. It's what you do. Ah, you're right. It's how I protect myself and my friends. <whistles> if any big fishes, but that one there, try to eat my friends, I give them the old zapparo. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? <laughs> That's right, Leo. And you're always giving us food. We couldn't be happier. 
Which one of you fish would like a checkup and a sticker? <laughs> okay, Tunip, we are officially done fixing up the bubble engine. Let's fill her back up with water. <laughs> Now remember, when the water reaches the long spray jack, close the front door. <laughs> Easy as pie. But first, let's make sure the area outside the octopod is all clear. No creatures in the area. We are all clear. Ready, Tunip? Suba, suba! Blast off! <laughs> <laughs> now let's test your tail fins. Swim to that big rock as fast as you can. Huh? <gasps> Leo, press off! Okay, Tunip, we're gonna close the door right about now. Ouch! <laughs> What is it, Freak? We got a situation down here. What kind of situation? I describe it as a tentacle-type situation. Whoa, whoa, 